for such section. To the paint. Well, I know, but it's, I mean, it's easier to use it. Yeah. It has a little foam. How long do they last? Forever. Forever. Really? And you can wash it. I'm getting them. And as they wear out, the edges will wear on them. As the edges wear, cut it off. You don't need that edge worn off. Holy moly. <laughs> you can do that while you're watching TV. <laughs> Sally's, they're like $5. Yeah. Make sure you get Tropical shine, one inch size. That way you get to cut it up smaller. Yeah. If there are little places you can wow. try to get into, That's so sweet. if you cut smaller yeah. ones, you can get into those like small places. Really handy. Yeah. Really There's 72 different configurations of twisted wire. This is the one I like the most. When you twist the wire, it becomes triangular in, in shape. So that wire can then be used as a lip or as legs or on the side of your container to add interest to it. Is there only two, two wires or are there three, two wires? There's only, there's actually four wires. Four wires. But it starts out with two wires. Are you going to show us how to do that? Yeah. Yay. But if you come in and you hammer and roll it, you get a pattern on the wire. Hmm. See, it has a center line. There's a shared center and then loops on the outside. And then you go hocus pocus. <laughs> the pattern changed. What happened to that center wire? Disappeared. Disappeared. So you have one pattern on one side and one pattern on the other. If you take and solder those together, you can have one pattern on the inside of your container and a different pattern on the outside of your container. It messes with your mind. <laughs> yeah. That's just one, but to use it as little legs too, it's nice. Solder those into place. This is another example of heavy wire and thin wire being twisted. Or one wire twisted around the wire. The wire was removed, and then it was twisted more. But look at the qualities of the final image. So one has a puffiness to it, one has a squareness to it, and the other one is just kind of flowing around. This one's going to mess with you a little bit. This is a 3D print of the object that I wanted to make. So I could see what it would look like before I made it. And then decided change parts of it. So that's it. It's made out of plaster and super glue. This is the container finished. Now the, that, does that make sense? Yeah, I, but what is the point of that if you want to make it in metal? Is it just to see what it will look like? Just I get instant gratification. Okay, so it's <laughs> I can go to sleep and in the morning I can say yes or no. And if I want to stretch the form, I can stretch it taller, change the proportions, add to it, subtract from it, or bend it. And then you would have a copy of that sent to your, to your 
regular printer yeah. that prints it out? And, like, you I'll do that here here. if you have an image that you want. If you just want a box form, we can do that. If you want it truncated. Now, the advantage of this is if you, had, if you get a copy of the geometry section that I have, it'll show you how to transfer images from a cone, points on a cone to a flat plane. But it's confusing. And most people give up before they get it. In the computer, you can just hit the button. It's actually kitty cat with tire tracks across it. Roadkill. <laughs> I was there when they named it, and the owner wouldn't let them keep it. The programmers wanted it roadkill, so they called it a smash button. So then what, you just cut that out and put it on your metal? Okay. Sorry, I'm afraid. No, you take the piece of paper yeah. and glue that to your piece yeah. of and then, yeah. and then cut it out. Yeah.